everybody. Welcome once again to my living room for story time. Uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Ellie and I'm very excited and happy to be doing this with you guys this morning. Um, so to get started, we are going to go ahead and sing our hello songs. I'm going to grab my little ukulele here and we're going to make sure it sounds right. So let's see. It should sound okay. I tuned it a little bit ago. Do you? Sounds good to me. All right, so let me just get a little situated here. And we are going to go ahead and sing hello. If you know the song, please sing along with me from home. And if you don't know the song, feel free to listen along. And why not? Go ahead and sing along anyway. It's okay if you don't know the words. Hence, a lot of the words are just hello. So, all right, ready? Here we go. to get our hands ready and we're going to make a B. Very good. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Oh! Ooh, good. Do it fast again. Oh! Nice. Ready for slow? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Good job. Next, we'll say hello as high as we can. So hello to the ceiling. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Good. And next is low. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello, hello floor. Hello all the stuff I had on my floor. Hello. Okay. So the good thing about doing this low part is that you can't tell when your floor is dirty, but that's okay. So, our not very last one, almost our last one, our funnest one probably, is we're going to say hello as loud as we possibly can. But, if there are people maybe sleeping, or maybe having very impor important phone calls, or doing other important stuff, that you shouldn't be yelling during, maybe don't say hello as loud as you can. Maybe say hello like half as loud as you can. Okay? All right, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Hello! Very 
again. Our very, very last one. So it's like, hold on. This quiet as we can. I want to do the whole thing. Shh. Ready for our morning jam. Let's say hello as quiet. Very good. That was nice and quiet. Okay. So, now I think we've said hello enough times. I would say so. Do you guys think so? I hope so. Because I'm done saying hello. And I'm running this show. So. <laughs> Alright. So, we are going to figure out what our stories are about today. So, to do that, we are going to open up mailbox. So to open up our mailbox to see what letter we got today, uh, we will say our ABCs all together. And then after we get our letter, we can guess what our stories are going to be about. But first, we need to say our ABCs. So I think we can do that. So thumbs up if we can say our ABCs because we are smart and we are capable. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? I wonder what letter got mailed to me. Let's open up our mailbox so we can see. Very good singing, you guys. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, we have a good letter today, and it matches my outfit. Can I see that? We have, <gasps> what is this? It's a G. We have a G today. Now, what words do we know? Let's start with G, that our stories could be about. Hmm. Let's see. What oh, words start with G? Goat? Goats, like the animal? Or goats of all time? Depending on which kind of goat you're talking. Uh, goat starts with G, but our stories aren't about that. What else starts with G? Garden? That's a fantastic story theme, but we don't have garden theme stories today. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm stuck. I can't think of any more G words besides go. <gasps> we have stories all about going, so going places and doing things. We can't really do a lot of that right now in our lives, but the good news is we have stories where people do it, and we're just going to live vicariously through them. So we have stories all about going. And our first story, oh, first, we've got to put our letter back. We're going to mail that right back. We're not going to worry about postage, stamps, but uh, it's good. Okay, our first story about going is called The Journey. And this is a story from a really old um, collection of stories called Mouse Tales. And... I'm, just, I'm sure you can guess the story is going to be about our little mouse here. So I'm going to get a little bit situated. I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. There we go. All right. So this is called The Journey. So once upon a time, there was a mouse. And this mouse, he really, really, really wanted to go visit his grandma. But he had a problem because his grandma lived super, 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 super duper far away. And little mouse said, oh, there's no problem that grandma lives so far away. I will just hop in my car and I will drive to her. So this little mouse, he did just that. He hopped right in. Oh, where are those wheels coming off? No way, this is happening. He hopped in his car with some difficulty. Okay, all right. 
to the grave, folks. He hopped in his car and he started to drive. And he drove and he drove and he drove and drove and drove and drove, and drove until, uh oh, car chunk, car chunk, the wheels hopped right off of his car. Oh, oh no! Mouth said, what am I supposed to do now? My car is broken. Oh! How am I supposed to get to grandma's house with a car without any wheels? What a disappointment. So he started to walk a little bit and he didn't have to walk very far at all. Then he noticed something. On the side of the road, there was a salesperson. And this salesperson was selling none other than <laughs> rollerblades. Oh, the little mouse said, oh, rollerblades? Oh, I can just rollerblade all the way to grandma's house. Easy peasy. So he bought a pair of roller skates. Here, we're going to move our little mouse here so he's more centered. He bought a pair of roller skates. He plopped them right on his feet. They were kind of big for him because he's a mouse, but that's not even. So he started rollerblading all the way as far as he could to grandma's house. But remember how far grandma lived? She lived super, super, super duper far away. And those rollerblades went kerchunk, kerchunk. His roller blades broke. The wheels popped right off. He's like, oh, how am I supposed to get to grandma's house now? But fortunately, on the side of the road, there was another salesperson. And this salesperson was selling running shoes. Zoom, 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 zoom. And the mouse said, ooh, look how fancy these running shoes look. Oh, I'm going to buy those and I'm just going to run all the way to grandma's house because I will be the fastest. So he put on those running shoes. He said, oh, yep. And they even match my shirt. They match my shorts. Ready. So he started running and he ran and ran and ran and ran and he ran as far as he could. But then the running shoes went kerchunk, kerchunk, and holes bore right in the bottom of those running shoes. So, oh, I can't run in broken running shoes. Mm, what am I supposed to do now? Now, this mouse was remarkably lucky because right at the side of the street, there was another salesperson. These are all different salespeople, by the way. Another salesperson who was selling boots. Come on, let's look at those boots and he's like, mm, those boots don't look very fast, but they sure are cute. They're little frog boots. I will go ahead and take them. So he put on those frog boots and went squish, 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 squish and walked in those little rubber boots as far as he could until those also bore holes in the bottom. Kerchunk, kerchunk. The mouse said, <gasps> I said, <gasps> and he looked around. He was kind of expecting another salesperson. But I said, <gasps> but there's no salesperson in sight. So Mouse just had to walk. He walked and he walked and he walked and he walked and there was no salesperson at all and his feet, his poor, poor little mouse feet, they were getting so tired and they were getting hurt and tired and he kept on walking 
until he couldn't even walk anymore. And that is when that salesperson popped down up and she said, oh, hello. And I said, hi, I've been looking for a salesperson. Do you have anything that I can wear to my grandma's house to get there? I'm almost there. I'm so close. And the salesperson looked at him and said, oh, I have just the thing. Today I am selling feet, elephant feet, and duck feet. Which pair of feet would you like? And Mouse looked and said, feet? Well, between the two, I guess I'll take the elephant feet. And Little Mouse popped his feet right off. Pop! Pop! And he put on his new feet. Kerchonk! Kerchonk! And he stomped, 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 stomped the rest of the way to Grandma's house. And when he got to Grandma, she opened the door and she said, Oh my, Little Mouse, you came to visit me! And are those new feet? I love them! And Little Mouse said, Thanks! You wouldn't believe what it took me to get them! The end. Good job! Isn't that story so silly? You can't take off your feet! That's the silliest thing I've ever heard! But it worked for a little mouse. So that story is called The Journey. And I'm trusting that you guys were good listeners during that story. But now, we are going to do a little song before we go into our next story. So a little song we're going to do, we are going to do some Boing Boing Squeak. Now, some of you might know this because I believe some storytellers use it at the very beginning of their story time. But we're just using it as a song. So, we, you can follow along with me. We're going to look at this. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. There's a mouse in my house. It's been about a week. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's been. I don't know. Where did it go? I want to see it again. I look to my left and I look to my right. I look all around. It's still out of sight. I look on the ground. I'm way over my head. Oh! There it goes again. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. Very good. Okay, we're going to go through that one more time a little bit faster. I think I mixed up my left and rights, but nah, that's okay. Here we go. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. There's a mouse in my house. It's been about a week. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's been. I don't know. Where did it go? I want to see it again. I look to my left and I look to my right. I look all around. It's still out of sight. I look to the ground and over my head and oh, oh there it goes again. Boing, boing, squeak and boing, boing, squeak. Good job. We caught that mouse. I'm pretty sure some people say it differently than me. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the way I know it. And that's the way I do it. Okay. So, I think it is time for me to read you guys a story. So, we are going to kind of read slash sing this one. This is a very silly story. It is a very big book. It is called <gasps> The Seals on the Bus. This is one of my favorite stories to read because um, it's so silly. So, it is very much like the song, The Wheels on the Bus, but it is not wheels, it's seals. So, here we go. Not yet. These big books, man. Here we go. The seals on the bus go erp, 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 erp. Erp, 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 the seals on the bus go erp, erp, erp. 
all around the town. Let's see what's next. Ooh, the tiger on the bus goes roar, 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 roar. The tiger on the bus goes roar, 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 all around the town. Let's see what's next. Oh, next is geese. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 honk. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 all around the town. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, all around the town. The monkeys on the bus go. Hold on, where did I go? E e e e e e. The monkeys on the bus go e e e all around the town. The vipers on the bus go hiss 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 hiss. The vipers on the bus go hiss hiss hiss. All around the town, the sheep on the bus go ba 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 ba. The sheep on the bus go ba 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 all around the town. The skunks on the bus go s s s s s s s The skunks on the bus go. All around the town, and the people on the bus go help, 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 help. The people on the bus go help, 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 all around the town. Woo! I would not want to be on that bus, let me tell you. With those skunks, and the snakes, and the sheep, and the monkeys, and all the other stuff that was on the bus that I can't remember, even though it was like literally 30 seconds since I read this. That's the seals on the bus, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me sing. Okay. All right. Oh, we have one more little activity before we do our last story. We are going to do some zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. So if you don't know this one, we'll do it more than once. Um, usually I stand up when I do this, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be like this on your screen. <laughs> so we are going to start with our hands and we go like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! Very good. Let's do it again. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! All right, I think we can do this once more, but extra fast. Do you guys think you can do it really fast with me? Let's try it. I might not be able to say all the words I'm going so fast. Just a heads up. All right, ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb over a rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job! <laughs> Counting is very hard when you're going super, super fast like that. Great job. Okay, I have one last story, but I'm going to get a quick little drink of water. Because all that going to the moon gets you parched. All right, so our very last story. I'm going to bring this up for it a little bit. It's called Dog in Boots. So this is about 
our dear friend, <gasps> Doug. Look at how cute he is. Now, Doug noticed one day that his people always wore shoes. And Doug looked at those shoes and he said, oh, you know, I've always have only ever tried to chew on those and eat them. But they always put them on my feet. Hmm, maybe I should put them on my feet too. So, Doug got four pairs of, or not four pairs, he got two pairs, but four boots. And he put one on each of his little puppy paws. He said, ooh, oh yes, I am extremely stylish now. So Dog went out and he tried to do things that dogs do. He went out to the yard and said, you know, what? I'm going to go dig. And he took his feet in his boots and he tried to dig, but it didn't really work. He went, huh, these boots don't help me dig at all. Why do people wear these? But then he had a great idea. He said, oh, I know what I'm going to do. So Dog, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, went all the way to town. And he went to the shoe store and he talked to the person at the shoe store. He said, excuse me, these boots, they're not very good for digging. Um, and plus, look at how dirty they are. They're all a mess from all that mud. Do you have anything that could maybe help with that? I don't like digging or like not as muddy. And the person at the shoe store said, you know what? I have just the thing. So she took those little boots from Dog and exchanged them for rain boots. Rubber rain boots. And she said, these will just rinse right off. They won't get muddy at all. You just put water on them and all the dirt goes away. They won't help a dame, but they won't get messy. And Dog said, oh, this is fantastic thank you so dog went out again he left the store and as he was walking home he saw a pond and this dog over here loved swimming and dog looked at his boots and he said oh, you know what these boots won't get messy i can just go swimming now and dog ran and jumped into the pond and <laughs> He couldn't really swim. Those boots just kept filling up with water. They didn't help him swim at all. So Dog left the pond. He marched right back to the store. He said, excuse me, miss. I know you gave me these, but they don't really help with swimming. Do you have anything that could help with swimming? And the woman at the store said, oh, I have just the thing. And she took those boots and she exchanged them for some flippers to wear in the water. So Dog put those flippers on and he said, oh yes, these will be perfect. Duck has some stuff just like this already on his feet. I'll be able to swim like a champ. So Dog went back to the pond and was able to swim with ease. And when he got out, he shook off and he had a couple little scratches. So he took his little flipper foot and tried to scratch behind his ear and it just went flap. So, oh, ow! And he tried to scratch again and it went flap, 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 flap. He said, ah, this is awful. All these flippers just keep hitting my face when I try to scratch my ear. This simply will not do. So dog, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. flip. Went right back to the store and said, excuse me, miss, do you have anything that will help me itch specifically behind my ear region? And the woman at the store said, oh, you know what? I have just the thing. And she took those flippers and she exchanged them for some nice, oh, they're kind of hard to see because they're black and I'm wearing black. 
some nice pointy high heel shoes. And Doc said, Ooh, these look fancy. They look stylish and effective with itchy. So Doc put on those high heel shoes. It was kind of hard to see for you guys, but they're on there. And he left the store. Click, 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 click. And he said, Ooh, I'm going to try to itch. And he went, and he said, Ooh, that little point of that heel itches so nice. Oh, this is a treat. So Doc kept walking down the sidewalk. Click, 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 click. And that was when Dog caught sight of a squirrel. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to run after that squirrel. You know he did. So he started to run. And he went, ow! Oh, these aren't fast at all. And anyone here that's worn heels can tell you it is hard to run in those things. And Dog now knew that too. So Dog said, oh! You can't run in these at all. I'm taking these back. So Dog turned right back around and went click, 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 back to the shoe store. Said, excuse me, miss. Do you have anything that will help me go faster? I just want to go fast. And the woman said, oh, you know, I have just the thing. And she exchanged those high heels. How this woman was not so frustrated with Dog, I do not know. She better get employee of the month because she has patience for miles. And while she was thinking about how <laughs> she should get employed in the month, I guess, at the shoe store, uh, she pulled out some <gasps> skis, some snow skis for Dog. And Dog said, oh, these look so fast. We'll put those right on my feet. Yes, thank you. Ooh, and they looked good, stylish for the slopes. And Dog walked out and said, all right, I'm ready to go fast. And he went, huh! and he didn't go anywhere. Do you know why? Because it was April in not Michigan, <laughs> and there was no snow. These skis couldn't go anywhere without snow. So Dog just shuffled right back around, went back inside, and he said, Excuse me, miss. Extremely impatient employee. Excuse me. These don't help me go fast at all. Do you have anything that will help me run, that will help me scratch, that will help me swim, that will help me dig? Anything at all? And the woman looked at Dog and she said, Hmm, you know, I don't, I don't have anything here that will help you with all of those things. But you do. Dog said, Me? What do you mean I do? I don't have any shoes at all. And the woman said, No, Dog, not your shoes, your paws. You have built-in stuff to help with all of that. And Doc said, oh my goodness, you're right. Paws are way better than shoes. Sorry, people. The end. That's Dog in Boots. Once again, very good listening. That dog was so silly. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you saw a dog wearing high heels outside? I would pay to see that dog. I'm sure you are many. Anyways, all right, everyone, we are all out of stories, but you know what time it is. We are going to do some knees up Mother Brown, of course. Our little chicken has been kind of hidden. I don't know if you need to see him, but he's here. All right, here we go. If you don't know how knees up Mother Brown works, I will tell you. I'm actually going to scoot as far back as I can because that way. You guys can see the chicken better. All right. So, if you don't know how this works, I'll tell you. When our little chicken friend here is down here and dancing, you get to jump up and down and dance too. But if he's up in the air, you are sitting down. So I'll trust you'll pay attention to these rules at home. And if you don't, that's it. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with a girl from France. Ready? There was a girl from France 
who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let him freeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Go ahead and sit back down. Very good. All right. Ready for our first verse? We followed our friend Mouse all the way to his grandma's house. The only other thing that he could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the freeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Sit back down. Dog put the shoes to the test and found out his paws were best. The only other thing that he could do was a knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let him freeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Sit back down for our very last one. We're going to try to get this little chicken to do a handstand. Let's see if we can do it today. I think. A thumbs up. I think we can do it. Here we go. There was a teeny tiny man who loved to do handstands. Oh. Oh my goodness, we. Oh no. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Yippee! Knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, we. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Extra fast! Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Good job, everybody. Wonderful job. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. We are going to wiggle, wiggle our fingers way up to the sky. Ooh, sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Wave them all goodbye. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're here every month, weekday morning at 10 a.m. One of us will be doing story times at aadl.tv. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like this video, whatever. Bye, everyone.